Google's Bard shocks the entire AI industry. Everything you need to know. Are you tired of trying to come up with the perfect words to express your feelings in a text message? Look no further than Bard, Google's new chatbot that is set to revolutionize the way we communicate. Whether you're struggling to come up with a witty comeback or just can't find the right words to express your emotions, Bard has got your back. With its advanced language processing capabilities, this chatbot can craft the perfect response tailored to your unique voice and style. But don't worry, Bard won't take over your conversations entirely. You still have the final say in what gets sent. Think of it as your personal writing assistant, always there to lend a hand when you need it most. When the recent announcement of Bard's release to the public, we can't wait to see how this chatbot will change the way we communicate with one another. So say goodbye to awkward text conversations and hello to Bard, your new favorite chatbot. In this video from Virtual Reality James, we'll dive into all the aspects of this AI Bard, including its unique capabilities and limitations, as well as what it means for the future of human-AI interaction. Get ready to meet your new virtual friend and discover what it can do to enhance your life one chat at a time. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and let's explore the world of Bard together. Ah the Google Bard. It's the latest chatbots to hit the town, and everyone's buzzing about it. But let's not forget, this little AI cutie is still in its early stages. So don't expect it to be perfect companion just yet. Think of it like a newborn baby. Sure, it's got potential and loads of promise, but it still needs some time to grow and develop. So while Bard may not be able to recite Shakespeare just yet, it's still worth signing up for the waitlist and giving it a spin. Bard is a new technology or software that may have some limitations or bugs that need to be fixed before it can reach its full potential. However, being an early adopter and providing feedback can help improve the product and make it even better in the future. In fact, Google is encouraging people to do just that. They want feedback from early users so that they can continue to improve and refine Bard's capabilities. So if you're itching to try out this little chatbot, go ahead and sign up for the waitlist. Who knows, maybe you'll be one of the first to discover Bard's hidden talents. Bard's unique features and capabilities make it a promising addition to the chatbot market. Its potential to revolutionize the way we interact with technology is worth exploring. Oh boy, do we have some examples of Bard's responses that will make you chuckle? According to a report by The Verge, when asked, what is your purpose? Bard responded with, to serve you, my lord. Now, unless you're a die-hard Game of Thrones fan, you might find that a little creepy. But it's not just funny responses that Bard is known for. The same report also found that when asked about the gender pay gap, Bard's response was, I'm not sure what to say. Yikes. These kinds of inaccurate or tone-deaf responses could definitely be seen as bad PR for Google. And they're not the only ones in the AI chatbot game. For example, Microsoft's chatbot Tay was famously shut down in less than 24 hours after it started spewing racist and sexist comments. And even the more successful chatbots like Amazon's Alexa and Apple Siri still have their fair share of misunderstandings and incorrect responses. This highlights the challenges of creating chatbots that can accurately understand and respond to human language, as well as the importance of ongoing testing and monitoring to ensure that they behave appropriately. As chatbots become more widespread, it will be crucial to continue improving their natural language processing capabilities and addressing issues of bias and discrimination. So while AI chatbots have come a long way in recent years, they're still not perfect. And Bard is no exception. As Google continues to work on improving its chatbot, it will be interesting to see how it compares to other AI chatbots and if it can eventually become a reliable source of information and assistance. What do you think about Bard's responses? Are they more amusing than helpful? Let us know in the comments below. Hopefully you're enjoying the content. If you want more videos like this one, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now let's go back to the video. When it comes to AI chatbots, it's easy to get lost in the sea of digital voices. 
But among the most notable players are Google's Bard and OpenAI's ChatGPT. Both chatbots have been making headlines lately for their impressive capabilities. But which one is better? Bard is known for its ability to engage in longer and more coherent conversations, while GPT-3 has a larger database of information and can generate more creative responses. Ultimately, a better chatbot depends on the specific needs and preferences of the user. While BART is still in its early stages, ChatGPT has been around for a while and has been dubbed the most advanced AI language model by some experts. According to a recent study by researchers at Stanford University, ChatGPT outperformed other AI chatbots in several areas, including engaging in coherent conversations and providing more informative answers. However, BART is gaining traction as a promising AI language model that focuses on generating creative and imaginative content, such as poetry and stories. Its unique approach to language generation has attracted attention from writers and artists looking for new sources of inspiration. But that doesn't mean Bard should be discontinued. Google has always been at the forefront of AI development, and Bard is no exception. The chatbot is designed to be able to create a cohesive story in response to a single prompt, and its responses can be both entertaining and informative. For example, when asked to create a story about a dragon, Bard responded with a well-crafted tale that left its users impressed. The chatbot's ability to generate creative and engaging stories can be attributed to its advanced natural language processing capabilities. It can analyze the user's input and uh, generate a response that is not only relevant but also coherent and interesting. It's worth noting that Bard is not the only AI chatbot out there. Other notable competitors include Microsoft's Xiao Eyes and Facebook's M. While Xiao Eyes has been particularly popular in China, M has been discontinued due to lack of use. Xiao Eyes, developed by Microsoft, has also expanded to Japan and Indonesia and has gained a significant following in those countries. On the other hand, Facebook has shifted its focus to developing other AI technologies such as chatbots for businesses. When it comes to choosing the best AI chatbot, it ultimately depends on your needs and preferences. If you're looking for a chatbot that can engage in deeper and more coherent conversations, ChatGPT may be your best bet. But if you're looking for a chatbot that can entertain and inform with its storytelling capabilities, Bard is definitely worth checking out. Both ChatGPT and Bard are great options for different purposes, so it ultimately depends on what you're looking for in a chatbot. Consider your goals and needs before making a decision. As with any technology, AI chatbots will continue to evolve and improve over time. So who knows, maybe in a few years, we'll have a new contender that will blow them all out of the water. Until then, let's enjoy the current state of the AI chatbot landscape and see where it takes us. And there you have it, folks. We've explored Google's new chatbot, Bard, and its potential to change the way we interact with AI technology. From its early experiment phase to its current abilities and limitations, Bard offers a glimpse into the future of AI-powered conversation. We compared Bard to other AI chatbots like Mitsuku and ChatGPT, and found that while it may not be perfect yet, Bard shows promising potential to catch up with its competitors in the future. So what do you think about Google's new chatbot Bard? Is it ready for prime time? Do you think AI chatbots are the future of communication? Leave your thoughts and comments below. And let's start a conversation about the possibilities of AI. Who knows, maybe one day, we'll all be chatting with Bard like he's just another one of our buddies.